Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a review for a movie. It's uh, actually by James uh, Bresak, or I, I'm not sure if I pronounced his name correctly. He did My Pure Joy. This film's not released yet. It hasn't even went through the circuit yet, so I have to keep the spoilers to a minimum. I cannot show clips as well. But basically, the film I was reviewing is Hate Crime. I knew absolutely nothing about it when I put it in. Uh, the film starts off as kind of uh, your point of view movie or a, a found footage type story. Uh, the camera... It's basically uh, these families celebrating a birthday. You can uh, sense some undertones in there that they don't really get along. They kind of all piss on the dad. You know, the father's kind of a pushover, I guess. But uh, they are a Jewish family, and sooner uh, than later, this group of uh, Nazis bust in, all calling themselves 1, 2, 3, a la uh, taking a Pelham 1, 2, 3, or Reservoir Dogs go by code name 1, 2, 3, and uh, they're all pretty much wild and crazy, and they start to, to uh, torture and uh, just do terrible things to his family. I don't want to give too much away how characters die or what necessarily happens, but what I do want to say is uh, it starts off uh, pretty disturbing. Uh, number three has this Harry Russo from Necromaniac uh, going on. He's also kind of like uh, Kano, Mark Goldard, or however you say his name. He's like a mixture of those. Wondering why uh, he had the accent, though, which kind of threw me off because he's supposed to be this pure Aryan brother, but he had this kind of a, maybe a British or Australian type accent going on. And he's supposed to be brothers with one of the other guys, which kind of was strange. Uh, but this guy was so wild and crazy one of the weirdest characters i've ever heard so it's kind of a uh, you really just gotta go with it this guy's a nutbag uh they're doing drugs and all sorts of weird things but uh this guy's intense i've never heard so many racial uh slurs in one film about jews so if you guys are offended by that type of thing yeah a lot of that type going on but uh as the film progresses it does lose a little bit of steam i mean a home invasion films they kind of are you know, what else can you do to this family? But there is some truly disturbing uh, stuff in here that I don't necessarily want to give away. Uh, there's a couple of rape scenes. Uh, one of the rape scenes involves family members. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, the other one, uh, it's kind of... I, I just... It is disturbing enough. This is weird. I usually am against, like, clothing rape scenes are kind of just silly to me, but uh, they kind of did it in this one, but it really was just kind of disgusting and worked somehow. I actually was kind of repulsed by the rape scenes. Of course you're supposed to be, but they actually were successful in doing it this time. A lot of times you're just like, oh, she's wearing clothes, this looks terrible, ah, savage vengeance. But uh, this one I thought it was pretty awful, actually, in a good way, because that's what they were going for, if that makes sense. Uh... Like I said, number three, I, I would say, was the most interesting character just because he was so weird and he got to do the most broad acting of the bunch. The family, uh, they're not all entirely too likable. Most of the time, they're screaming and in terrible fright, so you really can't get to know them that well. Uh, one of the, What happens to the son is actually one of the... Uh, I'm going to give a slight spoiler here. Uh, and, eh, it gives He's marked, which is kind of uh, actually... A little bit shocking here. There's not much gore to speak about, but mostly the film is driven on a psychological disturbing thing. I thought it was fairly decent. Uh, I thought the very ending after the credits, they did something where they kind of uh, did the, uh, you know, the so-and-so, the story, or gave statistics, and I thought that might have been a little trite, because I've seen it in so many other movies, and I felt that it might not have belonged in this one. But uh, they definitely do owe some, uh, owe to uh, August Underground, because the point of view type deal found it, it's kind of cool because the different thing about this found footage movie is the camera switches to characters different characters have the camera so you get to see a whole bunch of different point of views so that in that point it doesn't get that stale but uh for people that are interested in watching it uh, as a disturbing film or a kind of a crazy different type thing then uh, i guess yeah this one would be pretty cool because i not many people have heard about it and it is fairly has some fairly disturbing stuff uh but uh I'm mr parker that is the review of hate crime uh there'll be information below the director maybe uh you guys review films, spread the word, but uh, thank you very much. Have a good one.